Thanks for joining me for another video. This is my review for the Hustle Wrap. Typical test layout, 5x5x3 here on the house shot at Royal Crest in Lawrence. We all know the story with the Hustles by now, one of the most successful lines in bowling and especially in the lower end spectrum. Roto's HP1 and HP2 lines are the best bang for your buck in bowling period and a lot of serious and successful tournament bowlers get a bunch of use out of the Hustles because they're in the style of Storm's IQ Tour line. Medium strength coverage with the controllable and consistent Hustle core at a 253RG and 030 differential in 15 pounds. The wrap features VTC P20, which is of course this year's Pearl version of VTC that we've seen on a lot of HP1 and 2 balls over the last couple years. All of Roto's formulas seem to get significantly stronger every year, and 20 is no exception. I was looking forward to seeing how the new Hustles were going to match up against Storm's new Electrifies, being that they're similar design ideas, but while their shape similarities, the wrap is several boards stronger than the Electrify Pearl, nearing IQ Emerald strength. While I could still roll the Electrify Pearl from straighter, I had to lay out of the wrap a little to get it down the lane. It's a little longer than the Emerald, but also a little punchier. I do have to say that there's some overlap between these three. I don't think all three would be necessary in the same bag, but there are differences. Electrify Pearl is the weakest and sharpest, Emerald's the strongest and the smoothest, and the wrap falls in between them in terms of shape, but is closer to Emerald strength than to the Electrify Pearl. Where the Electrify Pearl is a baby emerald, the Hustle Wrap is a baby Idol Pearl, and that comparison excites me because the Idol Pearl is one of my favorites on the right, but it's just too strong for me to throw on the left the majority of the time. The Wrap gives me that Idol Pearl look that I really like, but in a more usable package for me on this side of the lane. Comparing it to the Electrify Pearl, you can see definite similarities, but if you look more closely at the rev rate differences, despite playing the same general areas on the lane, I can catch the Electrify more while I'm being softer with the wrap to get it to play in those zones further outside. The Electrify Pearl played about three boards further outside than the wrap did comfortably. The Emerald played over top of them both reasonably easily. The main difference is that it's both earlier and smoother, so that allows it to play on top of these two, and the earlier traction is offset by the smoother read down lane, which straightens the ball path out a little. I can get deeper than this with the Emerald, but it reacts so well from here that there's no real point in doing that. Adding in a few bonus shots from the Idle Pearl, you can see a very similar shape to the wrap, just a lot more of it across the board. I love this type of motion, but it's just too strong. I can't comfortably execute without opening my angles up to the point that I then have to start playing with my angles and shot shape, and there's just no reason to get that deep. The wrap is the same general motion, but in a more usable package for me. The Hustle Wrap is available now. Thanks for watching, and may the strikes be with you.